Namaste student this is Sanjay Nath today's session is on natural vegetation of india part 1 icc standard 10 as you can see this introductory visual this is a canopy of the forest covering nilgiri hills in this chapter we learn about the distribution of forest in india their characteristic features and the conservation methods first understand what is natural vegetation and its meaning natural vegetation that grows without the interference of any human and such vegetation adapts itself to the limitation of the natural environment it means such forests in a particular region they can adapt with the environment whatever the resource and the nutrient available in the environment or in the nature according to that they nourish and grow now we'll see what are the factors responsible for the distribution of natural vegetation in a particular region now we'll see in context with india there are three primary factors climate soil and topography now we'll understand each factor in detail climate as such india is a vast country the climatic condition of northern india will vary from the climatic condition of peninsular india it also determine the quality and type of vegetation followed by climate soil different type of soil support different type of vegetative cover for example in the desert region it will vary and in the deltaic region it will vary now we talk about topography topography also plays a very important role in distribution of natural vegetation For example if you see the topography of India it vary from region to region northern india mountainous region northeastern part of india hilly region and southern part of india we will see deccan plateau based on such topography there will be difference in distribution of natural vegetation now we'll understand what are the significance of natural vegetation environmental significance and utility environmental significance it purify air it takes away the impurities from the environment or the surrounding like it takes carbon dioxide and gives back oxygen it transpire moisture in the environment by evapotranspiration it does attract rainfall also it prevent global warming as you know that the global warming is one of the recent issue that many countries are facing it also checks soil erosion if we plant more trees it does plays a very important role in controlling soil erosion Now we'll see what are the utility of natural vegetation. As such, forest also provides lot of economical benefit to us. It provides forest products, wood for making furniture. It also provides medicinal plant for making oriental medicine. There are many other resources that we get it from the forest. Forest also plays a very important role in providing aesthetic pleasure. Wherever you see forest, it gives a soothing feeling to our soul and mind. Now we'll learn the distribution of natural vegetation in India and their types. tropical evergreen forest followed by tropical deciduous or monsoon forest tropical dry forest delta or tidal forest and the last one mountain forest the first two are mainly controlled by the distribution of rainfall in india and the last three is mainly controlled by the topography or the relief of the particular region as you can see in the map of india the distribution of tropical evergreen forest is mainly confined to the windward side of western ghats and northeastern part of india and tropical deciduous forest or monsoon forest is mainly confined to the leeward side of western ghats and central india in this session part 1 we will discuss the first two type of forest now we will learn in detail about tropical evergreen forest as you can see in this picture such forests are very thick trees are very tall and undergrowths are also in plenty sunlight also find it very difficult to reach towards the ground now we'll see each characteristic features in detail they have lot of dense growth at the bottom you can see or it on the floor there are lot of greenery and there are lot of creepers also hanging from all direction the floor is dark because of two reason due to the thick foliage on the ground or on the floor of this forest it appear to be dark and second reason the sunlight find it difficult to reach to the ground because of thick canopy and broad leaves all these trees and plants they become taller and taller and they're in the quest of absorbing as much as possible sunlight in such forest or evergreen forest there are massive variety of species are there we will not see a pure strands means single species there are multiple species of trees and plants been found in evergreen forest the height of trees in this forest it will vary there are a lot of valuable hardwood also available in evergreen forest Now we'll see the climatic requirement of such forest. Temperature range between 23 degree to 27 degree Celsius, and the rainfall is 200 cm. Throughout the year, this forest remain evergreen because there are many species in this forest, and they wither and grow in different parts of the year. 
and they appeared evergreen throughout the year. Now we'll see what are the geographical locations of evergreen forest. It is mainly found on the west coast of Western Ghats, mainly on the windward side. This particular region or the windward side of Indian Peninsula, it receives southwest monsoon winds very strong and due to this heavy rainfall on the windward side is a thick evergreen forest exists, followed by eastern Himalayas. It is mainly comprises of northeastern states of India, seven sisters. This region receives heavy rainfall from southwest monsoon winds from Bay of Bengal and this region have very thick evergreen forest followed by that Andaman Nicobar Island Andaman Nicobar Island is also having thick evergreen forest now we'll see some economically important species of trees found in evergreen forest first one rosewood rosewood hard durable and fine grain it is used for making expensive furniture it is mainly found in the windward part of western Ghats. now we'll see the second economically important species of tree in evergreen forest shisham as you can see in this picture the shisham tree is very tall and having very dense canopy such trees provide hardwood it is used for making expensive furniture it is also used for building house and railway sleepers it's primarily found in the west bengal and some parts of andaman nicobar islands now we'll see the second important type of forest or vegetation that covers larger part of India is called tropical deciduous vegetation. As you can see in this picture, this forest is different from the previous one. We can see there is a lot of space between the trees and they are not so tall. Even the canopy is not so thick. There is a lot of leaves that is on the ground or foliage and there is one path that one can see it is passing through the forest. Now such forests are called deciduous forest. Now we'll see the characteristic features in detail. The trees in this forest, they shed the leaves in spring or early summer. It is adaptation by the tree where they shed the leaves and doesn't allow the moisture to evaporate. This forest is having pure strand of species. It means mono species. These forests are economically very important and these forests one can easily access and enter. Now what are the climatic requirement of such forest? It is found in the areas of seasonal rainfall. Mainly, it is flourished during monsoon. It requires 100 to 200 cm of rainfall annually. Average temperature in such forest is 27 degree to 30 degree Celsius. It is also called monsoon type of forest or vegetation. Now we'll see the geographical location of deciduous forest or vegetation. On the leeward side of Western Ghats or Central Peninsular region and Central and Northern India. Now we'll see what are the species of trees being found in tropical deciduous forest. Teak is a species of tree that is economically very important and very much in demand in the market. It is due to its durable timber. It is also used for making expensive furniture and used for ship building purpose, the furniture inside the ships and all. It is mainly found in MP, Bihar, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. Sal is another good species that is mainly found in the tropical deciduous forest. Hardwood. This particular species of tree is immune to white ant means termite. It is also been used for making railway sleepers. It is primarily found in MP, Chhattisgarh, Orissa and Assam. There are other two species been found in tropical deciduous forest, sandalwood. As you know there is one of the very important and costly wood in India and as well as in the international market. There are two types of sandalwoods are found in the market. One is white sandalwood and another one is red sandalwood. Sandalwood has been primarily used in making handicrafts, oil and for making perfume and even for cosmetic also. It is primarily found in the Karnataka state. Another very important species of trees has been found in tropical deciduous forests is semal. As you can see in this picture, there is a tea chest. Such boxes have been made from semal tree. They provide soft and white timber. It is used for making match boxes and packaging cases. It is mainly found in the states of Assam, Bihar and Tamil Nadu. This wood is not very hard and because of the soft nature and the capacity to absorb moisture, it has been used for making tea chests. Another species of tree has been found in deciduous forest is Maraboline. The fruits of Maraboline trees has been used for dyeing of cotton. Is a natural dyeing agent. It has been also used for dyeing woolen silk and for tanning purpose. Tanning means leather tanning process. It is mainly found in the states of MP, Orissa, Maharashtra, and Andhra Pradesh. Thank you for watching the presentation.